guys, we're back at chapter 21, living for today. <laughs> so today we are back from our vacation and back to real life. Before we went on our trip, we were on this weight loss journey, stuff like that. But when we went on our trip, we were eating good and enjoying ourselves. So yes, we gained some weight, but that's not going to discourage us. We're going to do this three-day egg fasting diet. So for day one... We're gonna be doing food preparations. So we're gonna be showing you guys our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we're gonna be showing you creative ways you can cook with eggs. And for day two, we're gonna definitely do a gym session up in there. So we're gonna go to nine rounds and work it out for 30 minutes, no breaks. Then day three, we're gonna do eight, eight simple, simple steps, steps to, to planning, planning a getaway. getaway. <laughs> Okay, so for your next trip, these are some steps that we take and also messed up on. Yeah. So you guys watch and all through these eight days we're gonna so first show y'all our meal. Second, show y'all a little gym session, then third, the eight steps. So keep on watching while we're fasting. Bye. Hey, good morning you guys. It is 9:20 a.m. right now. It's July 18th. 2018 and I weigh 200 pounds so I want to drop to my goal is to drop five pounds by the end of this egg fast so yeah this is what I'm having for breakfast I already started eating full eggs and I'm drinking a cup of water so that's me boiling the egg getting it prepared for um, breakfast and stuff like that but y'all should know how to boil eggs, you know, just put some water in the pot, the eggs in there. But yeah, I'll see y'all later for lunch. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, July 18th, 2018, and it's currently 11.59 a.m. <laughs> so today I weighed myself and I'm currently 228. And the goal for this fast is to lose around seven pounds in three days. <laughs> so for day one, I decided to do uh, scrambled eggs for breakfast. And to spice it up, I added some red peppers. And uh, I'm really excited to eat it. <laughs> and also, um, I ended up making some toast just to spice it up a little bit and I'm drinking some water. So yeah, y'all, this is what I'm eating for breakfast. See you later. Okay, you guys, it is um, 2.54 and I'm about to eat lunch. So I have scrambled eggs with a teaspoon of um, salsa and then I got my cup of water. So yeah, I'm, I'm about to eat this. I'm real hungry. Honestly, and the food in my house has been tempting me. My mom about to cook. I'm just like, hmm, must be nice. But yeah, yeah, it's gonna pay off in the end. So I'll check in with y'all when dinner comes. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, it's Wednesday, July 18th. And <laughs> um, for lunch, I had two boiled eggs. And also for dinner, I had two boiled eggs too. Um, I just kind of kept it simple because I'm really tempted y'all. I'm tempted to eat something <laughs> But I just wanted to do something simple something quick So I boiled two eggs added some cheese and some pepper on top just to kind of give it a little pizzazz and yeah y'all but I'm really struggling y'all. I'm trying hard not to eat nothing, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm happy. I'm ready for tomorrow but I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. It is 8 p.m. right now, and um, I didn't eat dinner yet. So I'm hoping to hurry up and rush home to eat something. But right now I'm in Princeton. Don't ask me why. But yeah, I'm in Princeton. So I have an hour until then. We're at a gas station right now. So tempted to grab a bag of chips and just snack on that. But I'm not. I did slip up and ate one croissant and shortbread cookies but i'm praying nothing's gonna happen that i'm gonna lose the weight that i want to lose so yeah once i get home i'll show y'all what i eat and weigh myself and check back with you guys for my day one we're back <laughs> it is day two yeah day two <laughs> yeah yeah you guys i slipped up okay <laughs> i did 
And I'm sorry, but you know, today's the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice hey. and be glad in it. I'm gonna be able <laughs> to eat my eggs today. I got it right here. She good. I got my two eggs. I'm about to eat, but tell them what we're doing today. So today we're going to nine rounds. We're gonna, Woo. <laughs> we're gonna get like a little workout out and show you guys kind of what we're doing to try to stay in shape and to take care of ourselves.
Thank you to our trainer, Winston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was the workout. <laughs> we done did it now. Ah, uh, I'm so hot. It's, yeah, it's freaking hot. Can I put this AC on you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we pushed it through, yes. But doing this egg fast too, it's like, we it's, pushed it. It's almost like starvation in a way. Like, we don't really get to eat as much as just two eggs, so it's like, dang, we're hungry. <laughs> Look, I was over here thinking about the noodle shop over here, about to give me some fried rice or something, but <laughs> that's going to defeat the whole purpose of what we're doing. So Exactly. Was yeah. it worth it? Yeah. I've been wanting to get into working out hard, too, so... That was a good start. Maybe we should have definitely warmed up because I feel like we just hopped right into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know we're going to be feeling this tomorrow. I guess the warm up was the jump rope. Mm, that's not enough because we didn't know we were going to do so much arm workout. So I feel like my arms are just going to be a mess tomorrow. That was day two. <laughs> we're still egg fasting. We got lunch and dinner to do. So. Yeah, y'all, day two completed, and we're still egg fasting, so by day three, y'all will hear our official weight. So, <laughs> pray for us. Well, bye, you guys. We'll check in tomorrow for our eight simple steps to planning a getaway. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys, we're back. So, we wanted to give you guys... Our last overview from everything that we did for our egg fast challenge. This is day three. So we want to let you guys know like what we did, how we felt about everything, and would we even continue this again. But before we do that, we want to share with you our eight simple steps to planning a getaway. Ooh. Let's so, go. Step one is where are you going? So where are you planning on going? 
if it's gonna be hot, if it's gonna be cool. There's a date. So you wanna start picking out when you plan on traveling, what dates are gonna work best for you, how long you're gonna stay, and just making sure you're planning ahead and planning accordingly. Step three, places to stay. So are you gonna stay at a hotel, a motel, Airbnb, somebody's house? Where are you gonna stay? Step four, you want to get your plane tickets, you want to get your uh, traveling fees all out the way, you want to make sure you got everything you need so that by the time the date comes of when you're going to travel, you have everything ready and you're good to go. Hi. Transportation. So are you going to rent a car or get an Uber, a Lyft, and, or have somebody there that you can ride with? So yeah, transportation. Step six save 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 you guys like this is so important to us and for you guys to be knowing like you guys need to save and just have everything together when you save and have like a checklist of everything you have it's easier and you're gonna know your budget and you're just gonna have a better time than to just wing it and you think that it's gonna be a different price and it's not and things get more expensive so mm -hmm. save step seven checklist and packing so when you're traveling you got to have a checklist of everything so you won't forget anything sometimes we forget stuff so she makes a checklist or we'll go through it and then packing always remember do not fold your clothes you got to literally like wrap it in so you can fit as much stuff in there you know and have space for everything that you have on your checklist mm -hmm airport arrival so you guys once you get to the airport it's just best to make sure you're going through everything make sure you're gonna have everything they're gonna ask you for like when you start putting your bags away you know they're gonna ask for id that would be a good time to just check and make sure you have your money you have your uh airport or passport you just have everything you need you got your suitcase everything is in it and once you get to that point, you're gonna feel more comfortable that, okay, everything is organized, so all you can worry about is getting on the plane and just having a good time. All right, so that's our eight simple steps. <laughs> <laughs> eight simple steps, now to update y'all. Hey. <laughs> so, y'all, the results are in. <laughs> Okay, so let's start off by saying what our weight is. So, um, the beginning beginning for me, my weight was 228, and when I ended it, it was 223. So I thought that was pretty cool. What about you? For me, I started at 200 pounds and I gained five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, as you can see, it was kind of like a hit or miss with the mm -hmm. both of us. Um, Honestly, like it was really hard because I'm one of those people. I don't really have what I'm gonna eat What um, Everything is gonna be all day like I don't have all of that organized So I'm not the type to be like breakfast then have a snack then lunch then a snack then dinner Then maybe like a snack like I don't really operate like that like to me It's just kind of like if I can get a breakfast in I will lunch sometimes maybe hit or miss and then dinner and then there's like no snacks and stuff like that. So I don't know, like it was just hard to like keep telling my mind, okay, well eat your eggs and then, you know, drink some water. Now you gotta eat eggs again at some point. So let's make sure you have everything together. Like it was hard. <laughs> yeah, it was really hard for me because I'm usually like, I am that person that wants to have a breakfast, a snack in between, a bre or a lunch, snack, like having real food like because that's what helped me lose weight at a certain point so like having just like eggs and then making it different i started to like binge eat because it's like i felt like i wasn't eating so i'll start eating more so yeah it it didn't and work if you so. guys are doing like diets and stuff think about like what would you do on a daily like what's your daily schedule and how would you be able to continue doing what you're doing mm -hmm. to like help you lose weight and actually enjoy it it felt like a punishment like i could <laughs> not eat it was just sucking yeah. like and it was only two eggs so it was like mm -hmm. you're very limited to how much you can eat and then it's like after that you're supposed to be okay until the next period of eating and that's just not it wasn't enough like two eggs really wasn't enough and especially if they're boiled like it was, I don't know like it just felt like oh my god 
we just have to eat boiled eggs because we don't have enough time to like scramble it or do anything else to it so I don't know. I just kind of got sick of them. Like we couldn't add anything. Mm -hmm. Like me, I like to, <laughs> I like to spice my food up. So as you guys saw, I had like a piece of toast and stuff like that. Technically, you're not supposed to do that just because um, toast is carbs and you don't want to add anything that's gonna disrupt what you're trying to do. But I don't know. I just felt like just eggs was really. It was really sad. <laughs> right. Like, it was just really lacking to me. So, I don't know if I would do that specific diet again as a yet. Exactly. So, closing, would I do it again? No. Um, moving forward, I am going to, like, watch what I eat, watch when I eat, mm -hmm. and, like, continue to put healthy food in my body instead of, like, just picking up anything and just eating it when I'm bored. But I actually have, like, a strict, you know, lifestyle, start running with it. So, we're going to continue updating y'all. We're starting this special thing for August. So, mm -hmm. we're not going to say much about it. <laughs> but we, keep watching. <laughs> we have some things coming up. So, just keep watching, keep following us, keep following our journey. Our new yeah, viewers that just started watching us, subscribe, like, and comment, and continue watching us for our old subscribers. We love y'all, love our new ones too. Just continue this journey with us. This is a journey. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye. Bye.